Hey everyone, how you doing? Welcome back to Chaotic Kitchen with a very clumsy Sagittarius. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys one of my favorite and easy recipes. It was the first recipe I ever wrote down in my recipe book. It is a buffalo cauliflower recipe. And this is vegetarian friendly. You guys know I've been vegetarian for a little bit over a year now, probably like just about a year. And I've been loving it, and I definitely find I am a lot less bloated, but I am eating a lot more bread, so you know. <laughs> but without any further ado, let's get into this. Now as a little disclaimer you guys, this is not my recipe. I did not make it up. I actually found it on TikTok. I'm gonna do my best to find the source of whose recipe this is, but if not, I will put all the directions down below in the description bar. It is insanely easy and simple to do. The longest part of this is just waiting for it to freaking cook. Let's get chaotic. You're gonna need one cup of flour. And I have a half cup thing right here, so you're gonna see me dunk to it. So it's a one to one ratio, so pretty much you added a cup of flour, now you're gonna add a cup of water. For our seasonings, we're gonna be using three different spices. I have here smoked paprika, you could use regular paprika, but the smoked kind of gives it that buffalo-y, smoky vibe. Then we have the celery salt, and of course, garlic powder, because I am a garlic girl. And for this, I kind of just eyeball it. I add as much as I want. Um, I really like a lot of seasoning, so, you know, do it to your preference. We are all mixed up, and it should kind of have like, this sort of a consistency. You may need to add more water, but either way, I would say definitely start off with a one-to-one -one ratio. So I'm gonna set this to the side, and now I'm gonna cut up some of our cauliflower. When it comes to cutting the cauliflower, you wanna make sure you're not like mincing it and getting like a bunch of little pieces. You kinda just wanna like break it up and throw it into the batter. I feel like this size is a pretty good size that I've experienced with baking, so I'm gonna go ahead and just toss in the bowl whatever ones are ready to go. Oh, we have a guest appearance here. I wanna get my basketball practice in. Whoa! I'm going over the back. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Over the back, over the head. Whoa! Whoa. Okay. Go. So we got all our cauliflower in and I'm just giving it a good mix in the batter to get everything. And I have a tray here with tin foil. Now this is the most important step. If you do not add Pam or some sort of non-stick spray, you will be absolutely f these will literally stick and never come up. Even if you think you've gotten enough Pam on there, spray a little bit more because I am telling you, the batter really, 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 really makes it stick. So what we're gonna do now is spray the Pam, lay everything down, and what I like to do is I actually have like, I don't know, a spoon, a ladle, I don't even know how you wanna call it, but it's got slits through it, and what I do is kinda just let the batter dry off of it because you don't want to have a lot on the actual tin foil because it'll just burn and make it even more difficult for it to get off. So I just kind of take them and shake it up like that to get all of the excess off. So one other thing I forgot to mention to you guys is when you are placing down your cauliflower, you wanna make sure they're decently separated and that the batter isn't like bleeding into each other because I'm telling you like do as I say, not as I do, like learn from my mistakes. I have messed up so many batches of this because I had too much batter and too many cauliflowers placed closely together. So. Pam is your best friend, and also making sure that you have enough space 
on your sheet. I use two bags from Trader Joe's of the cauliflower florets. Now that bag is tiny, that's why I got two bags. You probably could just get a head of cauliflower, that would be enough for this recipe. Or if you wanted to get like a full bag from a grocery store of just the cauliflower florets chopped up, that works too. But I had two bags just because they were small at Trader Joe's. I actually started experimenting with food more during like the beginning of quarantine, just like everybody else did because we weren't going out to restaurants and stuff like that. I feel like Riley and I, even right now, like we're not going out as much as we used to and we're making a lot more meals at home. So I'm really excited to kind of get cooking more and give you guys some more recipes and hopefully we got some good things going here. I think it was 2020, I don't remember because the years are like blending into each other which is not a good feeling. But I think it was in 2020, I also did my Nona's Pizzel recipe, but I think I posted that on my IGTV, not on actual YouTube. So if you guys are interested in that Pizzel recipe, maybe I could do like a whole video of like Italian treats. I mean, I don't know. That kind of feels like a lot. Don't mind me, just thinking out loud. <laughs> Here's what we got. We're gonna pop this in the oven for 25 minutes on 450 heat. Now my oven is on X Games mode, so you guys may have to do it a little bit longer than my oven, so we're gonna pop these in, and then in 25 minutes, we got another very, very important step, okay? So don't miss it, because we're not finished yet. All right, you guys, we are done with the first part of the buffalo cauliflower, and you see how they are just like sliding around? That's how you want them to be. You do not want them to be stuck. That's why we added as much Pam as we did. I would say when you know they're ready for the next step, they kind of have a little bit of this browning kind of on the sides and stuff. So now what you're gonna do is take that same big bowl you mixed everything in, and you're gonna take your Frank's Red Hot. That was very cheerleadery. You put that shit on everything? Yeah, honey, I put this shit on everything. This is the Red Hot Wings Buffalo Sauce. And pretty much what you do is just dump this in the bowl as much as you want. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of spicy foods. I just got diagnosed with IBS, so I need to be careful. It's not fun, it's very painful. And I'm just gonna pour some in. And I'm pretty much just gonna take the cauliflower and break off the excess. You mix everything up in the bowl with the hot sauce and it is now time to put them back in the oven. So you wanna get a fresh sheet of aluminum foil. We're gonna go back in and pam the out of this. And we are gonna pop these back onto a tray and we're gonna pop them back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. You just want them to be crispy enough and not soggy. Since we added in the hot sauce, it's gonna kinda make it a little bit on the soggy side. That's why we wanna pop it back in the oven and get it a little bit more golden crispy. Oh yeah, these are looking good. You see how nice and crispy and golden they are? That's what you want, That's what you want. All right, you guys, and here is our buffalo collie. And you wanna have some like darker pieces because that's how you know it'll get crispy. And oh my God, they're amazing. I have here some ranch dressing, some more hot sauce because Riley likes them a little bit more spicier than I do. And that is it, you guys. It is so simple. I would say everything in total took me about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. And next time you guys are craving some buffalo cauliflower and you make this recipe, please tag me. I really want to see you guys if you ever make any of my foods. And yeah, cheers, you guys. I hope you like this video. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.